Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the method I use for fishing small mackerel, otherwise known as joey mackerel. I'm using Eagle Wave Up, size one zero. The larger the bait, the larger the hook I'll use. I'm using Catmaster hook link, which is 100 pound. I've got a 100 pound swivel on, and my hook length is around between 12 and 18 inches long. Once I've um, got the bait on the hook link, when I've got it sorted out, then I will put some uh, lead putty on the on the back end there near the swivel to keep the rest of the braid on the floor. I've already made a video showing how to fish with half a mackerel, and this is virtually the, exactly the same. You start by putting the hook in say three, two inches from the tail of the mackerel on its backbone. Suck it in, send it right in and come out so that you've got the, the full gap there. Take the hook in and out. And just bring your uplink through it. Now, the longer the fish, the more I'll go in and out with the hook. So I'm going to go in another another go here. And what I usually do is when I've got it like that and the, the eye of the hook is at that position and the hook's there, I'll put my thumb on the hook, on the shank, well on the fish, but I'm all covering the shank, and then tease the hook through or the, the end of the eye. The next one I'll go in just at the back of the skull. Now bear in mind I didn't need to do that second one. Uh, it was just for the for the video, for purposes of video. But for the last one, I'm going to go in at the back of the skull, push it up and come out in the skull itself. That's a solid part of the fish. And this coming in at this coming in through the skull or coming out from the skull helps keep the um, hook in place. And once I've got it there, again, I'm going to put my hand on the on the hook and hold it, just gently hold it in place. But this finger here is holding it there, the fish, so that it doesn't break up. Now I've pulled it so that the shank of the hook has gone inside the fish. Pull hook lick down so that it's all level with the fish. Make a loop. Go over the tail. Now there's the bait. That will cast as far as you want. The, the tail is taking all the pressure. So once you cast, regardless, even if you didn't use a weight, which you should do, I'm not advocating don't use a lead weight because you should. But if you was just to cast that out, that wouldn't upset the hook at all. That would stay exactly as it is. It, it doesn't work with all, all dead bait, but with a mackerel, the tail's pr pretty solid. The last thing that I do is I take, I use the Catmaster bait shields. Oh, you can use anything, a piece of an elastic band, a rubber band, a bait stock, and I'll just put it on the hook. Send it all the way down to the skull, where the hook goes into the skull, and flatten it onto the skull. That ensures that the hook's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna slide in and out of the fish or come out. It'll stay in position. Um, and I do that with every bait that I use like this, similar to this. I'll put a bait shield on, um, or whatever you're using. Okay, so that's the method for fishing a Joey mackerel. Watching it. And if you would like to see other sort of features, articles, rig diagrams, videos, plus um, a featured fisheries list that I'm putting together on the website, then take the time out, please take the time out to go and visit the website and have a look around. Thanks very much for watching.